Welcome to our review on equations of motion and kinetic energy. First thing is the equation of motion that I've given you there. Good news, you don't have to learn this one. So this is the one that will be given to you on the data sheet in the exam. So remember that other bit of paper on your desk, turn it over, you'll find some useful formulas, including this one here. So final velocity squared minus the initial velocity squared is two times acceleration times distance. To give you an idea of the kind of question you could be asked where you'd have to use that equation, I've given you a sample question there. When dropped, a tennis ball falls a distance of 1.5 meters with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, ignoring air resistance. Calculate the final velocity. First thing we do, as always, is highlight the underlying circle, jot down the key bits of information from the question, which I've done in red, as you can see. So what we actually know then, we know the distance, which is 1.5 meters. We know the acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared, and we know the initial velocity of zero. So what we can actually do there is rearrange that equation from our data sheet to give us our final velocity squared is two times acceleration times the distance plus initial velocity squared. From there, we can substitute in the values we know. So final velocity squared is 2 times 9.8 times 1.5 plus 0 squared, which gives us 29.4. The last thing we've got to do is remember that we had the final velocity being squared to give us that value. Therefore, to actually get the final velocity, we need to take the square root of 29.4. And that gives us our final answer of 5.4 meters per second to two significant figures. As always, when doing a calculation, make sure that you are writing down each part of your calculation in the answer space. Because if you go wrong or forget to do something like take the square root at the very end, at least you've got the chance of getting some of the marks rather than just writing an answer on that final answer line, having just plugged it all into your calculator with no working shown. If your answer's wrong, you get nothing out of the potentially up to four marks for a calculation question. The next thing we need to consider is kinetic energy. So a quick recap, first of all, we're talking about energy and the units therefore are joules, which have the symbol of a capital J. And when we refer to an energy store, that's a system where you can do a calculation to find the energy associated with it. If we're asked to use a calculation for kinetic energy, then we need to memorize this formula here. So kinetic energy is 0.5 times the mass in kilograms times the speed squared. So go careful not to forget the speed is squared and the mass has to be in kilograms. You do have to memorize this one. So again, put it on your list of equations to sit and learn. So the kind of question that you could be asked about kinetic energy is given here. Calculate the kinetic energy of a tennis ball with mass 50 grams, which is moving at 36 meters per second. First thing to do, as always in a calculation question, is highlight, underline, circle, or jot down the key values from the question itself so that you don't have to keep rereading the whole thing. And I've done that in red at the top there. Next thing, notice the fact the mass is in grams. So when we're talking about our standard units in science, it should be kilograms for mass. So we've got to change the grams to kilograms, which we do by dividing by a thousand. So 50 divided by a thousand gives us 0.05 kilograms as the mass. Then we can substitute that into our kinetic energy formula, which was 0.5 times mass times the speed squared. So 0.5 times our mass of 0.05 times by our speed 36 squared gives us an overall answer of 32.4. One thing I will say is make sure you do know how your calculator works before you walk into an exam. So that probably means if you don't already own a calculator, get one now and then practice because hitting that squared key, you've got to be careful because some of them do odd things like they'll actually do the 0.5 times the 0.05 times 36 and then square the answer of that rather than just the 36 being squared. So make sure you play around with the calculator to find out how to use it before the day of the exam. 
Hopefully at the end of this video you can apply the equation for kinetic energy and recall the equation to calculate kinetic energy. And you can also apply the equation that links initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration and distance from the datasheet.